Hello students, this is Dr. Anita Raj, your chemistry mentor, welcoming you for an important session in aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid. In this session, we shall see the different types of preparations of benzaldehyde. Okay. Actually, this benzaldehyde occurs in bitter almonds, okay, as glycoside amygdalin, okay, glycoside amygdalin, and is commercially known as the oil of bitter almonds. Okay, the other name for benzaldehyde is oil of bitter almonds. And today in this session, we are going to see the different types of preparations of benzaldehyde. Okay, so the first method is the Itard reaction. See, in Itard reaction, we are we will be making use of two types of uh, reagents. One is chromyl chloride and the another one is chromic oxide. Okay. So, the first let us see how this chromyl chloride is used in this Itard reaction. Okay. See, what happens is this chromyl chloride used here oxidizes the methyl group of toluene. What is toluene? This is toluene. Okay. A CH3 group attached to a benzene ring. This is said to be toluene. And here the chromyl chloride is used. And this chromyl chloride used here oxidizes the methyl group of this toluene to chromium complex okay so it will be converting this methyl group into a chromium complex and further this chromium complex undergoes hydrolysis and it gives the benzaldehyde okay so here we are making use of chromyl chloride so what happens is this chromyl chloride uh, in the presence of cs2 it converts this toluene that is a methyl group of toluene into a chromium complex. Let me write and show you what is happening here. See here. So let me draw the benzene ring. Okay. So this is the benzene ring. So what is happening here is see what happens here. This uh, CH3. Okay. Here in this CH3 it combines with this chromyl chloride and it forms an, uh, a complex. Okay. So CH O C R O H C L two okay twice. So this is this is uh, called as the chromium complex okay chromium complex. This chromium complex again it undergoes hydrolysis okay in the presence of hydronium ion it undergoes hydrolysis and it produces the benzoate okay then it finally produces the Benzaldehyde CHO. Okay, so this is called as benzaldehyde, and this benzaldehyde is prepared by this Itard reaction using chromyl chloride. Understood, students? The next method is using chromic oxide. So what happens here? Here the toluene or the substituted toluene. See, this is toluene is converted to benzylidine diacetate on treating with chromic oxide in acetic anhydride okay so this is acetic anhydride ch3 co twice o so this is acetic anhydride and this is chromic oxide so in the presence of chromic oxide and acetic anhydride this toluene is getting converted to benzylidine diacetate okay and this benzylidine diacetate and further hydrolysis it gives benzaldehyde with aqueous acid okay so this is what happening so let me explain how it is happening see this toluene when it is heated with acetic anhydride and chromic oxide at temperature between 273 to 283 kelvin see what happens removal of water molecule from here two hydrogen molecule hydrogen atoms okay two hydrogen atoms from here and from here on o so that minus h2o okay minus h2o and you can write the adduct now right can write the product now ch here two hydrogen atoms it's already gone so we here o has gone so we should write the rest of the thing okay o co ch3 twice okay so this is this is this is called as benzylidine diacetate okay benzylidine di as a diacetate now this undergoes hydrolysis okay this undergoes hydrolysis in the presence of hydronium ion okay so on uh, at high temperature we get benzaldehyde okay finally we get benzaldehyde cho okay so this is this is the reaction taking place right so using chromic oxide toluene is getting converted to benzylidine diacetate in the presence of acetic anhydride and chromium ox chromic oxide at temperature between 273 to 283 and this intermediate co compound is undergoing hydrolysis further and it's giving benzaldehyde okay 
The next reaction by side chain chlorination followed by hydrolysis. Okay, the first one is Ittard reaction. Under Ittard reaction, we saw two types. One is using chromyl chloride and another one is using chromic oxide. Now, the next, next uh, uh, type of reaction is by side chain chlorination followed by hydrolysis. Okay, so what is happening here is this side chain chlorination of toluene gives benzyl chloride. Okay, this is toluene. So, this undergoes chlorination in the presence of light energy. It gives benzyl chloride, which on hydrolysis gives benzaldehyde. Okay, actually, this is a commercial method of manufacture of benzaldehyde, right? So, this is toluene in the presence of chlorine and H new. Okay, this gets chlorinated. Okay, right. Now, this becomes the CH. CH instead of C instead of two hydrogen atoms, two chlorine atoms are substituted. And now this undergoes hydrolysis. Okay, this undergoes hydrolysis. Alright, at 373 Kelvin. Okay, at 373 Kelvin, there will be a removal of two water molecules. Two sorry, two HCl. Two HCl will be removed. Okay. So two HCl will be removed. Okay. So that will be getting the benzol height. Okay. Now we'll get the benzol CHO. Okay. So finally, this is benzol decay. And what is this? This is benzol chloride. Okay. This compound is otherwise called as benzol chloride. So by side chain reaction, side chain chlorination of toluene gives benzol chloride, which on hydrolysis gives a benzol decay. Okay. So the next important reaction is by Gatterman Poch reaction. So what happens here is when benzene or its derivative is treated with carbon monoxide and HCl in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride or cuprous chloride. Or cuprous chloride, it gives benzaldehyde or substituted benzaldehyde. Okay. So when this benzene is treated with carbon monoxide and HCl in the presence of either anhydrous aluminum chloride or cuprous, cuprous chloride, we'll be getting benzaldehyde. Okay. So let us write the uh, reaction taking place here. What's the product we are getting? We are getting benzaldehyde. We are getting benzaldehyde. CHO. Understood, students? So, this is an important reaction, Gatterman Koch reaction, right? So, the next is by oxidation of benzyl alcohol. So, when this benzyl alcohol is oxidized in the presence of K2CO2O7, that is potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid, we get benzaldehyde, okay? So, when benzyl alcohol is oxidized with K2CO2O7, that is potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid, it gives benzaldehyde, okay? So, this is benzyl alcohol, CH2OH, okay? So, it is undergoing oxidation to form benzaldehyde, okay? So, then we get benzaldehyde. CHO. There will be a removal of a water molecule, alright? So, there will be a removal of water molecule, that's we are getting. So, this is by oxidation of benzyl alcohol. Next is from benzyl chloride, okay? So, this is benzyl chloride, okay? So, instead of OH, we are having one chlorine molecule, okay? So, benzyl chloride is boiled with aqueous lead nitrate in a current of carbon dioxide to give benzyl okay? See, when this benzyl chloride is heated or boiled with lead nitrate, okay? Aqueous nit uh, lead nitrate in a current of carbon dioxide will get a benzyl okay? okay? So, let us see what product we are getting. Here, we are getting a Benzol decay. Okay. CHO. Benzol plus PBCl2. Okay. Here we will have two molecules of benzyl chloride. PBCl2 plus HNO2 nitrous acid. Okay. HNO2. Right. So this is what are uh, taking place. So, we are getting a benzol decay from a benzyl chloride in the presence of lead nitrate. We can make use of either lead nitrate or copper nitrate. Okay, either okay, lead nitrate can be used or else copper nitrate can also be used. And this uh, finally will be giving a benzol decay, then uh, lead, lead chloride, okay, and then nitrous acid. So, these are the different types of products uh, we are obtaining. Understood, students? Well, fine students, you might have understood what I have taught today. Let me meet you with another important topic in my next video. Until then, it's Dr. Anita Raj signing off from you. Thanks for watching.